Hey everyone, it's Hannah from Daisy Farm Crafts. I'm Tiffany's oldest daughter. Um, and if you've been following us for a while, you know that my mom is the one who usually makes our YouTube videos. Um, but as Daisy Farm Crafts keeps growing, we're staying pretty busy making patterns and asking qu or answering questions. Um, so I'm gonna try to hop on here a little bit more and do some videos for the blankets that I've been making. Um, and today I wanna to show you uh, the stitches that I used in my crochet triangles baby blanket. Um, and it's actually the blanket that's on the cover of our new book, 25 Crochet Baby Blanket Patterns. Um, if you wanna check it out, it's on Amazon, and I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, I don't have the full big blanket to show you. I wish I did, but I gave it away to my sweet new baby niece a couple months ago when she was born. Um, but it was made with Bernat Softy Baby Yarn and a size H five millimeter hook. And um, if you wanna see more pictures of the blanket and for the full written pattern and all the details about it, please go to daisyfarmcrafts.com and I will uh, put a link to the pattern in the description. So let's get started. Okay, to start this blanket, you want to chain any multiple of 10 and then add seven. So for the actual blanket, I chained 87 um, for a baby blanket size. And um, in this practice swatch, I'm going to do 27. All right, so for the first row, we're gonna start in the third chain from the hook. We're gonna yarn over, insert your hook, and pull up a loop. Then you're gonna yarn over again, insert your hook into the same space, then pull up another loop, and you should have five loops on your hook, and yarn over and pull through all five loops. And again, you yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, then yarn over again, insert your hook into the same space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all five loops. And this is called a half double crochet cluster stitch. And we're gonna work one half double crochet cluster in each chain. And then when you get to the end of the chain, you're going to chain two and turn.
All right, and for the second row, we're gonna start working wide half double crochet clusters, um, which is the same stitch. You yarn over and insert your hook, but you're gonna be inserting it in between the stitches of the row below. Um, so you're still yarning over and inserting your hook twice into the same space so that you have five loops on your hook when you yarn over. But you want to um, look for the space that's in between the stitches that you work the row below. Um, or if your work is facing you, you can kind of see that there's these sideways V's that run across um, the top and you want to insert your hook underneath both loops of that front facing V. So again, still working, you yarn over, insert your hook into that space in between the posts or the stitches of the row below, pull up a loop, yarn over again, insert your hook into the same space, pull up another loop, yarn over and pull through all five loops and you're gonna keep working this stitch to the end of the row and you're gonna actually keep working this stitch until you have um, just five rows of wide half double crochet clusters um, in this soft peach color Now when you get to the end of the row, you want to make sure that your last stitch is between the last stitch of the previous row and your turning chain. You want to make sure you don't miss that last space. And then after you finish that last stitch, um, you're going to chain two and turn. Uh, throughout this whole blanket, you're always going to chain two and turn. And you're just going to keep working this wide half double crochet cluster stitch until you have five rows of the soft peach. All right, after you have five rows in soft peach, you're going to work a wide half double crochet cluster in each of the first five spaces. So that's one, one stitch right there. That's two. And 
three, fourth stitch and five before you finish the stitch on that fifth stitch you're gonna pause when you have five loops on your hook and you're gonna pull through with white And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that peach tail and you're gonna lay it across the top of your work and you're gonna crochet over it as you work five wide half double crochet clusters with white. So you're working it exactly the same, yarn over and pull up a loop twice in a row, then yarn over and pull through all five loops. And as you can see, you're just laying that, that peach tail across the top of your work and crocheting over it uh, so that we can easily pick it up when we finish our, the first bottom of our triangle. So that's three, and we're going to work five white half double crochet clusters with white. And that's four. And that's five. Um, and this time you're gonna you're gonna bring the white to the front. That helps for, uh, to keep your yarn from getting twisted. Um, you can't see, but I have my white yarn to the left of me and the peach yarn to the right of me. Um, and if you always keep one color to the front and one color to the back every time you switch colors, that'll help things from getting all twisted up. Um, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to carry along that white tail and crochet over it as we work um, a white half double crochet cluster in the next five spaces again with peach. So after we work five more clusters with the peach, we're gonna switch back to the white again to make the bottom of another, another triangle. So drop that pink yarn to the back and grab your white and pull it through just before you finish that fifth stitch. And then you're going to carry along that peach tail. And now do five more 
clusters with the white, still crocheting over the peach. Okay, and after you finish your five white clusters, we're going to switch back to the peach. So bring that white yarn to the front. Then pull through with the peach. And we're still going to keep carrying along that white tail all the way to the end of the row. Um, because when we turn, we're going to wrap it around the side of our work and we're going to keep carrying it with us as we keep building our triangles. All right, so after you chain two and turn, you're gonna wrap that white yarn and carry it along the top of your work still. And now we're gonna crochet over it as we keep working some peach clusters. And then when we get to the white section, we're going to start building our triangles. Um, and I have all the exact counts written out on daisyfarmcrafts.com. If that um, works better for you, if you want to you know, know exactly how many to crochet on each side, because we're working in between the posts, the, the counts um, are a little bit different for each row. So I found that the best way to build the triangles um, was to just focus on the white part and to know that you know the pink is basically your background and you're just trying to visually build your triangles by decreasing on every row. So you're going to work with the pink all the way up until that white stitch. And then you're going to pause and you're gonna pull through with the white. And we're gonna do 
four clusters with white this time so that the whites um, are these four clusters should be in between the whites of the row below so that's how you know that your your triangle is gonna start going inward And then on the fourth one, you're going to pause just before you finish the stitch when you have five loops. Bring that white yarn forward. And pull through with the peach. And then you're going to work across um, with peach until you get to right before that white cluster of the next triangle. So I'm just going to keep building these triangles. Um, on the next row, I'm going to work three whites, and then the row after that will be two, and then the top of the triangle will just have one white stitch. Um, so I'm just going to work these at, at my normal pace. Um, if you want to see all the way how the triangles are built. Um, if you do want to uh, slow things down again, you can go to the, the settings um, on the, the bottom right hand corner of your YouTube screen and um, slow the speed down if you do want to watch it a little bit slower. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to kind of keep going here and you can see how going down by one white stitch on each row and making sure you stay in between the white stitches all the time um, will help you slowly build your triangles. Um, and if you want to uh, just quickly jump ahead to see how to do the next set of triangles where they're um, offset um, you can jump ahead to about the 38 minute mark and I'll show you um, how to build the bottom of those next set of triangles. And after we finish this first set of triangles, we're going to work um, five rows of white half double crochet clusters uh, just in the soft peach color, just how we did at the first.
All right, so after we've finished our first set of triangles and then we worked five more rows of um, clusters just in the peach color, then you're going to start building another set of triangles, but this time um, the counts are gonna be a little bit different because they're gonna be um, offset with the first set of triangles. So you're gonna start by working a wide half double crochet cluster in each of the first 10 spaces. All right, so after you've worked 10, then you're going to pull through with white on that 10th stitch. If I can get it through. And then you're gonna do just like you did with the triangles before, you're gonna carry that peach yarn and you're gonna work um, five clusters with white. Um, so you're just building the bottoms of the triangles exactly as you did the first time. Um, you only are, are doing the 10 stitches at the, the beginning of the row. Um, and then after that, you'll go back to the same pattern as you did before of going back and forth every five. So on that fifth white stitch, you pull through with peach and then you would, are going to work five clusters with peach as you carry the white and then switch back again to five clusters in white so that your triangles are all spaced out the same. All right, and then you'll just keep building those triangles like we did before by decreasing one white stitch on each row. Um, and again, all the full counts for each row um, are on daisyfarmcrafts.com in the full blanket pattern. Um, so be sure to look for the link in the description. And um, if you do decide to make this blanket, be sure to share a picture with us on Facebook or Instagram. We'd love to see. Um, but thank you all so much for coming to see this video, and I hope that you enjoy making this blanket. Thank you so much.